Welcome to week two. Uh, check my Super Bowl two special edition full season where we got the Miami Dolphins and the Green Bay Packers. And we're gonna auto skip for the rest of the teams. The rest of the games, I should say. So Buffalo beats New England. Cincinnati gets crushed by San Diego. Broncos beat the Jets. Lions get beat by the Vikings. Houston gets beat by Dallas. Indianapolis beats Tampa Bay. The Rams beat the Falcons. And that brings us to Miami Dolphins and the Green Bay Packers now. Of course, I'm going to be playing as Green Bay Packers for those of you who don't, don't realize that yet. I play as the Packers in all the games and Peter plays as the rest of the teams. Now we did see these two teams match up in the first season on my video game uploads and it was actually the very first game I had gotten beat in of that season. I got beat by the Dolphins at 40 to 14. I got crushed by them. And at the end of the season, the Dolphins ended up getting a wild card spot, second place in the division. I also got a wild card spot, second place. Dolphins have gotten beat in well, they won in round one against the Steelers, but then they got beat in round two against the Houston Oilers who went on to the Super Bowl. And me, I made it to the NFC Championship where I got beat by the New York Giants. The Giants went on to beat Houston. Now in season two, Miami didn't even make the playoffs. I've seen a blocked pass get caught. I guess it's better to be lucky than good. So now that's actually... Even though I didn't like the fact that that happened to me, that's actually a pretty cool feature. I don't have that in the next game. Techno Super Bowl 3 Final Edition. Okay, I got a fly in my room. Flies in my room. I can't stand it. I hope I got him. <whistles> so we're all tied up here. Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition, if the pass gets blocked, it doesn't get caught. It's just dead. This game I'm not quite familiar with, so there's some things about this game I'm not going to know about. Let's take him back to the end zone. Cool. We're going to blitz him here. 
Okay, for some reason they didn't blitz when I picked the exact same play as they did. Unless they had two shotgun plays, I thought I only seen one. But this is the same playbook here they used in the last one, then I guess they do have two. Prove to be a challenge once again. Okay, now how did they catch it when he had a guy right on top of him? my player like who's going to catch it. My uh, Miami Dolphins were good around this time. They had Dan Marino on their team. Tied up though right now because the first touchdown was low. I got that annoying fly that was buzzing around on the TV. I haven't seen him since I swatted that. Red, 24, red, 24. Cut, cut, cut. I just catch like every single pass. That's all they do is pass to Blue, it seems Blue, like. Oh, that was a fail. The... Trick, trick me on that one. It was a trick audible. Okay, let's check my guy. Oh, Terrell Buckley's had to leave. He's in bad condition. Leroy Butler can come in now. Sean Jones, still terrible. Davian Brown can come in. What was that? Bryce Pop can come in. Or please George Coons. There's no point in checking Strickland because there's no one to replace him, so 
Mel Butler can come in, Evans and Pratt, yeah, all three of those can come in. And we only need to replace two of them though. yard line and they're going to punt. I call it bluff. They punt from the 31 yard line. They got some problems. Why don't they just go for a field goal? Let's check my offense. Oops. Tetmer's terrible, so we're not going to bother bringing him in. Cobb is terrible, Wilson. Yeah, these are Bennett's of 44 and a 56. So we're going to change these two. Morgan's a fail. Lewis can come in. Chimera. Don't need him, though. receiver back then. My brother Shannon Sharp played for Denver, the Denver Broncos and then after he was done playing he ended up announcing or he was on one of those channels. Catch it, he's got two guys on him. starting to hold them. Okay, they 
think I'm going for a running play, why would they pick the dime package? The dime package is for a passing play. See, they always do stupid things like that that just don't make sense. Pick the dime package if you think it's going to pa be a passing play. Yeah, they select the running play. Now, I can understand the way I do a goal line for passing play, but that's because I plan on blitzing them. But they're going for a dime package. Yeah, I bluffed them on that one. Maybe it's time to take Sterling out of there. He can't hold on to the ball. That's the way it always happens. Reggie always gets injured when Sean Jones' physical condition is bad. Press the start button to pause it if you're on the field, or to call a timeout. Look at that, I threw an incomplete pass and the timer kept ticking. So I passed the ball like right when the timer stopped. You're kidding me. They got more rushing yards than me. I remember them going for two running plays and they lost yards in both of them. I got minus four rushing yards. I'm definitely outplaying them, but they've been getting lucky quite a bit. They've got seven first downs compared to my one. That's because I go for the deep passes that are in the end zone. They, they don't give you a, a first down credit for a touchdown. Oh, that was a fail. I don't know about this game, but I can tell you about Techno Suit Bowl 3 Final Edition. And out of 10 times, there's an onside kick, the computer recovers it. If you go for the onside kick, you got a 10% chance of recovering it. If they go for an onside kick, you got a 10% chance of recovering it. It's always 90% down. Oh yeah, Sean Jones is coming in. Put Gilbert Brown right there. Buckley, Harris, and Pryor can all come in. Don't need him though. Blue, 43. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah. See, on these games when a player gets injured, he's out for the whole game. 
Sometimes you might be up two games, three games. Could be like quite a few games. You never know. There was one, one time I played a full season and my defenseman Sean Jones got injured in the first game. He was out the entire season. That's the only time that I've ever seen that happen. Usually it's like five or six at the max. Blue, 36 yard line, why wouldn't they go for a field goal? Oh, I picked a fake pass and play. I thought they were going to fake pass, they fake run. That's just stupid for the Dolphins to do a fake running play when they really don't seem to have very much confidence in their running game. Let's see, Detmer can come in if necessary, but no, Favre's still good. Corn Cobb and Wilson can come in. You know, out of all these running backs here, the only ones I remember is Edgar Bennett. Moose Morgan and Chimera can come in. quarterback, I was looking at my receivers trying to figure out which one was open, and go figure the one time I do that, that's when I got a guy that broke through. Touchdown lead. Give me a little breathing room. You know, I think they should keep the music from the previous game. Nope. Okay. 
am calling for a fair catch when I got three guys running at me and I don't have any player that would block them. quite as good as you can in the next game. You kind of cut up and down and get away from them. This one has seemed quicker to dive. Challenging each other to pull their fingers. Hey, I haven't seen a safety of this game. Let's try to get one here. after I said that. Okay, they went for the shotgun play. Onside kick failed for them. Whoa. I have seen that glitch happen in the other game. Catch it and it's like you're you slide like you're sliding on ice. Kinda weird. You know this game is going a lot faster than the last one. Filled with fours here. Oops. Not quite as far as I wanted it. But. Edition, there's kind of a weird glitch in the game where whenever the player dives on the ground, and, like instead of getting tackled, he just dives there. If you try to tackle him, you'll slide right through him. It's kind of funny. Blue, Double fake, two die fake, fake. My receiver was covered and had a guy right there on my quarterback. Wow, 
second down and one. That's a problem we also see in the next game. I think the reason for that is they decided to put measurements like half yards and all that in the game, but they didn't kind of show it. So it's like if you get like eight and a half yard gain, it's going to say eight yard gain, but you got a yard and a half to go, so it's going to say one yard. That's the only theory I can come up with. Because I can't imagine them not knowing how to add this game and the next game. since halftime. Well, how'd they suddenly get so good at rushing? and just throw it. Oh, going for a two-point two conversion because, you know, you just might catch up score another 30 points with, I guess, 29 points with 24 seconds left in the clock. There's 16-bit logic for you. Side kick too, because that might really help us. Now, wouldn't be spread if Sterling Sharp leads the league in touchdowns. Eight to twenty. So we are at Zay out rushes hundred point seven to twenty three passing yards. We outpassed them four hundred and sixty. 52 to 179. That's both games we got over 400 yards. Total yards 475 to 306. First downs I out. First down to me 13 to 6. I out sacked him 5 to 2. They had one interception. I fumbled two. Fumbled them to cause them to force them to fumble twice. They forced me to fumble once. 
But the important thing is the score, 58 20. Correct fire rate of 2% for blade food, Marino 47. Okay, so let's go ahead and skip through the rest of these games in week 2. Pittsburgh gets beat by Cleveland. San Francisco beats Kansas City. Seattle beats the Raiders. Washington beats New Orleans. The Giants get beat by the Arizona Cardinals. The Bears beat the Eagles. And I'll go ahead and check the NFL standings. I want to go ahead and check scoring. Just, I just want to see where Sharp is. Yep, first place. Eight touchdowns, 48 points. How many yards is that? He's in second place for receiving. Well, that's reception zone. And 47 yards is averaging per reception. Eight touchdowns. Longest 67 yard catch by Sharp. Okay, let's take a look at the standings. Here we got Buffalo undefeated 2-0. They won the Super Bowl in the last season, so they just might be a pretty tough opponent. We're going to see the Packers and the Buffalo Bills play each other, so it'd be kind of interesting if the both went undefeated up to that point. So, anyway, that's what that division looks like. Next, we're going to see the FC Central Cleveland undefeated 2-0. Houston's 1-1, Pittsburgh and Cincinnati failing. FC West, you got Seattle and Denver in first place. San Diego, Kansas City, and Los Angeles all tied for... I guess if you say second or last. Over here you got Arizona and Dallas in first place. I have a feeling Dallas is going to be moving up to that number one spot though sometime soon. Very tough opponent. Philadelphia 1 1, Washington 1 1, Giants are 1 2. Then you got the Packers in first place undefeated. Everyone else is 1 1. Look at our points, 124 points. In the West, we got the 49ers and Rams 1-1. Falcons and Saints 0-2. Oh, Schedule. Green Bay and Philadelphia is the only game we're going to see. I'm going to skip through all the rest. So, in the next video, we'll see all that in the next video. Skip the first two games, then we'll see the Packers and Eagles, and then we'll auto skip through the rest of the games and show you the standings. So, hope you're enjoying the season so far. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I'll see you next game. will be our first road game for. My team, the Packers, playing against Philadelphia, and hopefully Reggie White will come will return. Just don't know until the beginning of the game whether Reggie's going to come back or not. So, see you in the next video.